Hey everyone, it's Ashley from the Iron Factory. Today we're going to draw some dragons. So dragons are made of a few basic shapes. We have a circle and then a cone shape that comes off the tip, an S shape for the neck and the body, and usually all of the horns and ridges are made of just small triangles or zigzags. Here I am just drawing the basic shapes to give you the idea of what a body of a dragon should look like and kind of the placement of the eye. I kind of like to put it further back on the head at the back of the snout area. And now I'm going to draw kind of a rendered finish outline of what a dragon looks like so that you know kind of what we're aiming for in our next design that I'm about to show you. Um, here I am drawing a dragon eye. If you're interested in learning how to draw eyes, I have another video in our playlist on learning how to do that. So now I've got a 5 8 angle art factory brush and I've loaded it up with dark green and yellow. These are fusion paints and I'm practicing on a sparkling faces practice board. And I'm just drawing those same shapes, the circle, the triangle, the ridges, and I'm just filling in kind of the dragon head shape and the neck because that's all I'm going to draw. And then I've got some orange and red and I'm going to fill in some flames around the rest of the area. You don't have to add flames um, to your design. I just thought it would be a nice detail to make it even fancier. So now I've got a number three round and some pastel yellow, and I'm using that to draw in the eye and the teeth. And notice that I've got some teeth kind of pointing up, some pointing down. Just, you know, it's your dragon. You can make it look however you want. I'm adding some horns, and I put in some belly ridges, and those scales on the belly are just the number seven or like the letter L repeated over and over again. Um, they're not hard to draw, really. You just kind of, kind of make that same shape, like flicking one after the other. Um, I'm adding some yellow to the flames, and flames aren't super tricky. They're just kind of big S's or claw crab shapes. Um, uh, if you have any questions about drawing flames, let me know. I'd be happy to do a tutorial for you. Um, for the eyes, I drew kind of my scary eye for my other video. And the mouth is just kind of a zigzag line with a little arrow pointed at the end. Um, I made the chin kind of pointy. I added in some more ridges on the side of the cheek. Um, you know, I'm just kind of making it up as I go along. I'm outlining those belly ridges and his back spikes. I just want him to look as angular and pointy as possible because uh, the more angular and pointy they are, the more fierce they look as a dragon. I'm just going back now with some black to add uh, outlines to those flames to make them kind of pop a little bit more. And yeah, that's a really cool, scary looking dragon. I used a little white at the end for highlights. Obviously, you do not have to do all of these little details. I've just done these dragons so many times that uh, I can throw them together pretty quickly. Um, don't feel like you need to go this fast, though, because this video is sped up like three times fast. So this is pretty unrealistic. <laughs> all right. So for our next dragon, I got a light blue, dark blue split. That same 5 8 angle art factory brush. And now I'm just going to draw a big shape for the head just like I did before and instead of stopping at the neck I'm just going to continue that body in a big loop-de-loop -loop. kind of like a big snake I'm not going to add any arms or legs so this design is nice for that you can just skip those again the mouth is just a zigzag or a lightning bolt got some ridges lots of little points and speckles because that adds a lot of cool detail making the back kind of a soft ridge and then, of course, those L's and 7's for the belly scales. Again, I'm going super fast in the video because the video is sped up and edited, so don't feel like you have to go this fast. I made the tail kind of spirally and swirly and added lots of cute little polka dots. I wanted this to be a polka dot dragon. Going back with white, and I gave it a solid eye and some ridges. I didn't want to give it a pupil this time. I kind of wanted to make it look a little bit more fierce. Gave it some teeth. And yeah, it's kind of done. How cool is that? I love how this one turned out. Cool blue ice dragon, I think maybe. All right, so our next dragon is um, the simplest one. It's just black and a silhouette. So this is great for beginners. You want to do kind of a check mark design. Skip a little space for your eye. And then just kind of fill in a quick little jaw and a big giant wiggly S shape for the body and the tail. Two horns, some little flicks off the back for some spikes. And if you feel like adding arms and legs, you can, they're not necessary, but this is how to do a couple of really quick ones. I'm just kind of fattening up the body in this part right here. A couple of few little teeth, some more horns, 
make the tail a little spiky. And then quickly, I'm just gonna draw the outline of some flames, but I'm not gonna fill them in. This is just a super quick, easy version. There you go. All right, so then our next dragon is a really cutesy dragon. So I'm gonna use um, that same 5 8 angle Art Factory brush. Of course, you can get everything you see in this video at artfactorystore.com. And I'm gonna make a really cutesy, happy, friendly dragon. So I drew the same neck and head, except that I made the mouth really blunt and short because that's more friendly. It's not angular, so it's not fierce. I added a little kind of wing on the back that's just a big V shape with some stripes in the middle. And then those clouds were just uh, blue half circles, just layered one on top of the other. So now I'm going back into adding details. I drew a giant cutesy eye, got some polka dots, some claws, a few horns. Um, I know this is a cutesy dragon, but I still want it to look like a dragon, so I gave it some teeth and claws and things. I'm just throwing some spirals in the clouds just to give it a little bit more detail. And so just quickly done. And then last but not least, going back with that black and adding all of your details. Again, you can look at my previous videos if you would like to learn how to draw different kinds of eyes. I drew the mouth kind of smooth and not zigzag. The horns are smooth and not zigzag. And I'm just kind of doing quick outlines on everything. And then this design will be done. For the bottom of the wing, I just do like kind of like the claws and then like little half circle scallops with some lines going up. And yeah, throw some glitter on it. This one's super cute. Love it. All right, so our last design is gonna be another super cute little dragon. So I've got that same 5 8 angle brush and a cute kind of blue, yellow, green, purple split. And I'm just drawing in a cute, super chubby little body. Doing little comma strokes for the arms and legs and the mouth. A cute wiggly tail in the background. I'm not gonna give it any wings or anything. It's gonna be just really super cutesy. And that's it, that's the whole body. So now I've got the number three round. I'm gonna throw in some big cute eyes, some horns, some claws on its feet, and some polka dots and belly stripes. And then I'm gonna go and draw in some teardrops and swirls to make the design look even fancier because I just like to fill the space. You obviously do not have to do these things, but I think they just add a lot to a design. If you'd like a tutorial on how to draw teardrops and swirls, let me know. I'll make one for you. And now I'm gonna get the black and just outline everything. I'm not gonna give it a smile or anything. I'm just gonna make it look super cutesy by doing these big eyes, big pupils, one little eyelash. Oh, I love it, so cute. And then I'm just gonna outline my arms, my legs, and my horns. Again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll answer them. If you have any ideas for videos, leave it in the comments. I will be happy to make you a video. You can get everything that you see in these videos at artfactorystore.com. There's a link in our bio. Feel free to check us out. We sell all sorts of cool face and body art supplies. Again, this board that I'm drawing on is a sparkling faces board. I hope you guys really enjoyed this today. Thank you for watching. I'm Ashley. Have a great day.